Hey everybody, welcome back to BMJ Fishing. Tonight I thought I'd do a quick video to show you my uh, Yak Attack Black Pack and show you what's inside. This is what I bring with me every time I go fishing, so let's check it out. All right everybody, so this is my Black Pack that I got from Yak Attack. And uh, I picked this particular model up from um, ACK.com. And uh, some things that I did to the outside uh, were added these two gear tracks. Um, this is what I mount random things to, like my camera pole. I have a, a Yak Attack a panfish a camera pole that I put on the back. That's how I get on my rear shots. Uh, you guys saw how I hooked that up in um, a previous video that I did about my video setup. On the front here, um, I've done a few things with this. I've had like a retractable leash um, system attached to this. Um, I've attached extra rod holders and things like that. For the most part, I don't really use this front rail that much, but uh, I decided to get the two pack and put them both on just, just for the uh, convenience of it. What's cool about Black Pack is um, this entire box is made out of like a marine grade quality uh, plastic board. So this is actually like a cutting board. So if you wanted to, you could actually easily pop this lid off the box and use it as a cutting board on your lap if you were cutting live bait or something like that. Um, so here's what I have on the inside of my Black Pack. Uh, I like to use 3600 size Plano boxes. Um, I have a couple that are waterproof in here and then, um, and then there's two that are not waterproof but they're specifically for the water that is in there. So I'm just going to go through and kind of show you what I have. This one I have uh, jigs in. So there's just a bunch of different football jigs and trailers. I like the Zoom Super Chunk Junior uh, trailers. And then I have um, just a couple random jerk baits that didn't fit in any of my other boxes in here. Um, kind of my go-to one in here is this green with the, with the blue stripes there in it. Um, it's got like blue on the head too. That seems to work really well. I take that out. Okay, next is one of the ones that's not waterproof, but this is one that I really like. It's um, a spinner box. It's uh, from uh, Plano as well. This looks kind of messy, but I have all of my uh, different spinner baits in here. I also have um, I have some chatter baits kind of shoved in the bottom here. I have uh, a couple colors from chatter baits, smaller spinners, bigger spinners, um, and then I have a couple of these uh, uh, buzz baits as well. Um, I really like the Strike King um, one in the white with the red uh, right here. I, uh, you guys see me use this a lot in my videos, but uh, it's, it's like a white bleeding spinner bait. Um, that seems to work really well. So the next box we have is another um, Plano Elite box, and uh, this one has crankbaits in it. So I have all different kinds of crankbaits. I like uh, either the 1.0 or the 1.5 size crankbaits. These are um, mostly uh, Kevin Van Dam uh, square bills, and then I have a couple rattle traps in here as well. Here's a like a bleeding rattle trap. Um, here's like a Here's like a crawfish colored one. So uh, I, I usually I usually keep to uh, the sexy shad color. That's why I have probably four of those in here. But I have um, this uh, chartreuse color works really well for me too. So I use that quite a bit. Uh, next is a box just of hooks, and this is a waterproof box as well. And here I have all different kinds of hooks for different purposes. Um, I really like uh, Gamagatsu uh, 3 ot hooks for my soft plastic worms. I have um, treble hooks, I have real small hooks here, uh, different weighted hooks. I just picked these up, they're like a wacky rig hook from uh, Gamagatsu that I'm going to try soon. Uh, swim bait hooks, um, got hooks for tubes, circle hooks. And then I have a bunch of different uh, weights in here. This box here is another box uh, that came with my kayak. I got two of these that came with my Jackson Cuda. And uh, this is another waterproof Plano box. And here's has all my top water in it. So uh, I really like 
uh, jitterbugs. I have a bunch of different colors of jitterbugs. Um, I have a couple of different uh, frogs, poppers, a bunch of different kind of poppers, a little uh, torpedo, and then the uh, a buzz plug, the small one and the big one from uh, Arbor Guest, I believe. And then I have a couple super spooks in there too that I use sometimes, top water. So there's that. I also, underneath my worm bag here, I have a small box uh, from Plano as well. And I call this like my trout box. I keep like a lot of real small stuff in here. Um, so I have some little treble hooks, um, little spoons, things like that that I throw, uh, Panther Martins, things like that that I throw for trout. All right, now in the bottom here, I also have two bags of soft plastics. These are my two go-to worms. Uh, one is the Tequila Sunrise from uh, Powerbait. Uh, that works really well. And then another one of my favorites is a, a Black Pumpkin Flake Worm from Strike King. Uh, I just call them pumpkin seed worms, but they're actually called Pumpkin Black Flake. I'm not sure if they make these anymore, but I have a whole bunch of them. Um, the heavy salt. These, these cast really far um, and they're really good action. I really like this. All right, this bag here I got from uh, Bass Pro. It's, it's the um, extra large worm bag. I probably could have got away with this, the smaller version of this, because there's one side that I don't want to use. But um, I guess in case I get more soft plastics in the future, I can um, fill this up. But I have uh, more uh, Tequila Sunrise in here, more of the pumpkin seed worms I talked about earlier. And then I have some uh, power baits, um, electric grape, motor oil. Uh, I have some more of the uh, Senko worms as well from uh, Strike King um, in different colors. I have some crawfish, some really big tube worms, and some smaller tube worms. I really like the uh, green pumpkin color uh, for tubes. They work really well. Uh, I got some lizards and some baby brush hogs, some swim baits, and some more uh, lizards. And then I have a um, um, umbrella rig back here too that I haven't really got a chance to play with yet, but hopefully this year I'll be able to get into that. On the very bottom of the box, I'm not sure if you can see here, but um, I put the silent traction material that's on my kayaks, I put that in the bottom of the box and that just helps with um, when I'm taking things in and out during the day. Um, I don't want to be making a ton of noise in the water, so that kind of dampens some of the banging around that the boxes make when I put things back in. So there it is. That's the black pack from Yak Attack. That's what I bring with me every time I go. Um, this is the setup I bring when I go in my Jackson Cuda 12 in my sit on top kayak. My sit inside kayak, all I do is take all these plastic Plano boxes and I put them in a soft sided tackle bag and that goes in the uh, nose of my kayak and um, I found that the 3600 size works the best for both my kayaks as far as putting them next to my seat, under my seat, things like that. So that's why I've chosen to use that size box. But uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the uh, comment section below. And thanks for watching. Keep those lines tight.